The eighth topic is to find inverse of relations. There are two types of problems in this. The first type is very easy, where coordinate points are given. Say, for example, you have been told the vertices minus 8, 6, 6, minus 2, 4, minus 6 are of a triangle. We need to find the inverse of this. So, basically, what is inverse before we start solving? Inverse is something that is opposite. Now, if it is x and y, inverse would make it y and x, something like this. Okay. Now, to find the answer for this, it's very, very simple. You just swap swap these swap it, those are the inverse relation for this so this for this polygon we need to find the inverse relationship and then graph both original and the inverse now in the first coordinate it was minus 8 6 this x changes to y and y changes to x 6 and minus 8 i hope this is clear over here the y is minus 2 which becomes x in the inverse whereas the x becomes y same way you can write all these three points now, when you graph, you can see the original is given by M and P over here. M and the, sorry, let me change the color over here. It is M, N and P. But the inverse varies. Inverse is different. All you need to do is plot these points. See, the M point was at minus 8 and 6. That is negative 8 and 6. But now it is positive 6 and negative 8. It's completely changed, isn't it? There's a jump from year to year. Same way over here, N and N dash jumped over here and the P, it's changed. But what you can see is this is the inverse relationship. And if you draw a line of X, Y, you know, you draw a 45 degree line, which needs to be like this somewhat. These both will be inverted from that particular point. So you can see this point is over here, this point is over here, this point is, it's all reflected along x, y line. We will see that in the, uh, see about that line further in the next type of problems in the same topic. But now quickly, let's see over here. If it's 7 and 7, it doesn't matter. It's the same. See, 7 and 7 is same. Whereas these all changes. Let's see where is 7 and 7. It's over here. Even when you reflect it, it'll be the same because it's along the x, y axis. Okay, the points on the x equals y line will never change. So this is very basic and very simple. All you need to do is swap x and y and then find the points and then graph them all. You will get the answers. So this was easy. But what about the next type? You need to find the inverse of a function, not a relation of a function. What do you do now? Again, we need to implement the same concept, the same idea with we, which we just now learned swapping x and y but you can't just swap over here there is few steps the step one would be write the given function in terms of y instead of f of x i will write it as y so what do i do change this now it is y equals x plus 2 okay what is next this is fine y equals x plus 2 what do i do next the next thing would be over here swapping x and y this is the concept what we have what we have been doing over there interchanging x and y right so the same thing swap x and y that means interchange the points now over here this is the same thing instead of y i will write x and instead of x i will write y so now whatever the answer i can see can you see this now, this is the inverse function, but whenever we write a function, we write in terms of y. We write y equals to. So now, rearrange and solve for new y. This is the important thing in the same step. Swap and solve for new y means keep y at one side, take everything else to the other side. So y, let it be positive, take this 2 to the other side, it becomes x minus 8. And now y equals x, sorry, not x minus 8, it is x minus 2. So, y equals x minus 2. Okay, now it's x, y equals x minus 2. So, what do we do next? We need to replace y as f inverse x. That means this is the given function f of x. We just can't keep y. We have done so many steps. So, whatever that function is, the inverse function. So, replace this y as f inverse x equals x minus 2. And that is it. That's the inverse function. Now, if you're graphing this, 
you can see x plus 2 is over here, x minus 2 is over here. Now, what things can you understand from this? One thing is, what is the inverse of plus? Inverse of plus is minus. So, x plus 2, it will become x minus 2. If it was 2x, it will be division. Multiplication becomes division. We will see all that in, in a while. We will compare it. But before that, this is very important. This is the xy line. The x is equal to positive y. Now, here, all you need to do is plot. See, it will be always reflected along xy line. If you graph one of the function, you can see this is the function. So now if you get this in exam, then you should just know the basics of the graph. Since x is plus 2, you know, instead of the origin, it's plus 2 over here. And this is minus 2, so it's down. But if you know one of the graph, it's enough. This is plus 2. You need to just reflect it along the uh, xy line. So that's it. So this is how we graph it. But now what if it's a complicated problem? Because this is a very basic problem, right? Now, what it's something like this. Sorry for that. The animation has uh, gone a uh, bit error over here. But anyway, step one would be right in terms of y. The same steps. It's not changing. It's the same thing. Right in terms of y equals phi x squared. Now, swap x and y and solve for the new y. What you do is, over here, instead of x, I put, uh, instead of y, I put x. And instead of x, I put y. And then, solve for y. Take the phi to the other side. Take square root. Square root on both the sides over here will be square root x by 5. Now that means, remember, always when there is a square root, what does that mean? It's either plus or minus. So now y equals plus or minus square root x divided by 5. Now this is, this is, it. This is the answer, but generally your textbooks and everything will have in terms of, say now since you have x by Phi, okay, this is the entire thing. Now, what happens is they generally multiply this by phi up and down. So, what happens over here? It will become phi square, square root phi x divided by phi square. This cancels out, so you will have only phi x as square root, and below it will be phi because 25 square root is phi, so this is phi square, right. This cancels out with the square root over here. So this will be answer. Don't forget the plus or minus. Square root 5x divided by 5. Now, replace the y as f inverse fx. So over here, y becomes f inverse of x plus or minus root of 5x uh, divided by 5. How do you understand which is plus or minus over here? Sorry, let me just, okay. Over here... This would be the answer. This is the graph over here. You can see it's reflected along the uh, x, y. Now, this, this is something which is uh, crucial. Whenever you have plus or minus, see which is the domain over here. Whenever the domain is from minus infinity to zero, this is the reflected part. Okay, from year to year, this is the reflection. So that means since it's in the negative region, this will be down. Whereas if it was from 0 to positive infinity, the domain, then this would be the positive one. How would you understand? Because if I graph, say, plus root of 5x by 5, I know the graph will go like this upwards, right? That's the graph. Whereas if it was the same thing, if I had just minus over here instead of this plus, then it would go something like this. That's how we understand. So the domain restriction is that's it. So that would be the answer. Now you can see over here all the answers. Um, okay, I had told about 2x inverse would be 2 by x. Mm, I'm sorry for that. It is 1 by 2x. Okay. Now we are, uh, see, phi x inverse of phi x would be, this is multiplication. So you must divide phi, right? So x will remain. You should divide that by phi. Now phi x is 5 times x. Now, you just divide this 5. Same way over here. x plus 2 becomes x minus 2. So, you can find this relation. But it's it's a bit tricky when it's complicated. So, the best way would be the steps which I just now showed you. You can just go to the previous section and see the video. Uh, just see the problem in detail is explained. 
Now we always will be reflected along x y line. You can see over here the reflection is along x y line. Similarly, you can keep continuing over here. So same way, but try to use the steps and solve. You will get this over here. Now over here, if it was only graph, it's very very simple. If you know one of this graph. Because this is simple, it's minus 2x plus 1. That means it's going downwards and the y-intercept is 1. Then it should be just reflected along xy line. So that would be the answer. Now similarly, please to try them by yourselves. Use the method, try them by yourself to find this. It's better to use the steps and then solve. Similarly over here, they are very, very straightforward. Please do solve them by yourself and then check the answers. Now over here, the last two, I want to point out there's a mistake over here. We, I have done this anyways. It is, it was just a while ago we discussed this. It is phi root x, okay? This x should be under root, it's square root x only. Only then it will make sense, the graph would make sense. Otherwise, it's not because this is a square root function. That's the thing. Over here as well, just the only thing is whenever this square. Now, one minute, I'll just quickly go back. You can see there is no square over here, so it's fine. There won't be any, you know, domain restrictions or anything. Only over here, because there is a square root function, it'll square, when you do the inverse, there'll be plus or minus. So one case would be minus, that would be the domain restriction from negative infinity to zero. And the positive side would be the from zero to infinity. So it's very simple. Just go through these, solve it by yourself and practice. That's, that's it for this topic. In the next uh, video, we will move on to the next topic.